So look, making money is all fun and games, but uh, you know what's even better? making it in your 20s. Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. If you're new to my channel, my name is Jaime and I'm the proud owner of a social media marketing agency transforming online brands into market leaders. Over the past two years, I've been fortunate enough to build a team around me and blow my agency past that six figure mark. A year ago, I made one of the toughest decisions of my life and I decided to drop out of a top 10 ranked university in the world to dedicate all my time and energy into my agency. Now, what I wanna talk to you guys about today is why I truly believe that your 20s is by far the best time to not only build your business, but build generational wealth and truly set yourself up for life. This topic is very close to my heart because it wasn't until I implemented this mindset that I'm about to share with you guys that I didn't act with urgency and that I didn't start to see results with my business. Simply because the path that society usually lays for us does never involve making money in your 20s and really building something meaningful in your 20s. And so what I wanna do in this video is break so many limiting beliefs and give you guys actionable strategies that you can apply in your life and really start crushing it financially in your 20s. I've divided this video into three sections. In the first section, I'm gonna be talking about the traditional route, taking a look at what society tells us and the areas where I completely disagree. In the second section, I'm gonna be talking about why from 20 to 30 is by far the best time to not only make money, but build a business. And the final section, is all about the lifestyle and why I think it's incredibly valuable to have money in your 20s, to actually enjoy the money you're making and live incredible experience. So I'm super excited for this video. I think it's gonna be of tremendous value for those of you who are looking to build a business, who are looking to make money online, and for those of you who are looking to set yourself up for the future and financially so you never have to worry about money ever again. So without further ado, let's get right into it. First section is the traditional route. And here's what society tells us to do and what most people do with their lives. They graduate college uh, at around 21 to even 25 years old. Then usually they take a nine to five job and they settle for a pretty low salary, hoping that they'll be able to climb the company ladder. These jobs usually pay less than 50K a year. Then you need to work your ass off to climb up the ladder. And very important here, all the work that you are putting in is to build someone else's business, right? So you're not actually building and you're not putting the foundations in place uh, for your own business. And that is very, very key when it comes to working towards something. And that is a very important point to keep in mind because I could work for my business for a whole year. I could literally work my ass off for a whole year and that work will take care of me because I'm building my little baby, right? I'm building my business, which grows in parallel to my income. And not only that, but it grows exponentially. Whereas if you put work into a nine to five, all that work that you're putting in does not have as much longevity because it does not directly benefit you. You're not actually building something that can fuel your life. So that's really important to keep in mind, but let's just assume that you work your ass off. And typically what will happen is by the age of 35, you will get a six figure income if obviously you're in a good industry, right? And this is obviously a very optimistic trajectory, but you guys can see that that's already a 15 year journey from the age of 20 to 35 to get that six figure income, working your ass off and probably something that you're not truly passionate about. So that's really the traditional route. Now let's talk about why and how to just crush it in your 20s and take a path less travel, but a path that can actually set yourself up for success. So with that being said, let's move on to point number two. So point number two is to go ahead and smash the like button. It really helps a ton with the algorithm. So go ahead and smash the like button. YouTube just lost when that thing turns blue, so I'd really appreciate it. I'll give you a few seconds to go ahead and do that right now. Got it? Good. Now let's move on to point number two, which is understanding why from 20 to 30 is by far the best time frame to get shit done in your life and to make as much money as you possibly can. To do this, I wanna compile two different columns. The first column is what we do have, and the second column is what we do not have. And so when we're young, we do have abundant energy right? We also have abundant time. So time and energy is really what's on our side. Now, what do we not have? The first thing is we do not have societal pressure. And this is massive. When you're 20, you're not expected to have a family or a good paying job or a home, etc., etc. And although many people will say, well, I don't care what people think about me. I'm just going to live my life. Unfortunately, there is that societal pressure that you're going to feel from parents, friends, acquaintances. When you reach 30, where you're expected to have an income, you're expected to have your own place, etc., etc. And so we do not have that societal pressure and we have so much more freedom. And not only that, but not having that societal pressure allows you to take more risks because you're more fine with failing. So you can fail a lot, fail fast and keep going. The second thing we do not have is we do not have many obligations. We don't have a family to take care of. We don't have a home down payment. We don't really have a car and a bunch of other stuff that really just slows people down because they have those obligations. And those obligations are completely 
completely fine. It's usually part of life, but not having those allows us to go much faster. And the third thing we typically do not have is many resources. And many people will think that this is a disadvantage, but I actually think it's a massive advantage because it lights a fire under your ass. One of the things that I like to say is that the most addictive drug is not cocaine, it's actually a nine to five salary. When you are locked in for a nine to five salary, it is predictable, you are comfortable, it is very addictive, right? And so when you don't have those resources and you actually need to fess for yourself and build something of value, add value to people to get value in return, then you have this fire under your ass, which is really gonna empower you and really fuel you and propel you forward to achieving your goals. So that is what we do have and that is what we do not have in the space between 20 and 30. And this is not the case once you cross that 30 year old mark. And that is why I generally believe that this time frame is the time frame to get stuff done and to really build something that sets you up for the future. So that's point number two. And now onto point number three, which is all about the lifestyle. So with that being said, let's get into the final point. So the final point, the lifestyle, and I think I'm gonna get a bit of stick from this but I generally believe that the best part of years are from your 20, maybe 21, 22 years old to your 30s. I do not believe that the best part of years are in high school. I do not believe that the best part of years are the university years. And so what I would urge you guys is to build during that time. I know it's hard because I've been there. You get fear of missing out. You see other people have fun, but trust me, the type of experiences that you can live from your 20s to 30s are much more wild and much more memorable than the type of experiences you can live in high school or university. However, what I will say on this point, and the reason why it's incredibly important to have money in your 20s, is because the way most people go through life is in their 20s, they do not have money, right? So they have a lot of energy, they have a cool friend group, but they do not have the money to fund those incredible experiences. And I'm not saying you can't have fun without money. I certainly have had some of the craziest experiences and they haven't been expensive, but I'm just saying certain trips that you can do with your friends, certain restaurants even, certain things that you can buy for, for example, your family or someone you care about, or even for yourself if you're into that, right? So I truly believe that having money in your 20s is so blissful because you have the energy, you have the friend group, you have the no obligations, right? And you also have the money that you can actually find incredible experiences and just really live a, a really, really cool life with friends and really experiencing a lot of things like traveling, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, simply because you don't have the obligations that we spoke about and you have the time and energy. And so that's really my final point and why I think it's incredibly vital to make money in your 20s. I know that most of you watching this channel fall into that bracket. And so what I would say is keep chipping away, have patience, but also act in urgency because from the time you're 20 to 30 is by far the best time to build your business. And if you're thinking you can build your business once you've gone through the nine to five and uh, have a bit of money to invest or whatever it is, I personally think that's not the route to go. Simply because as I said, once you get locked into that nine to five salary, it is very addictive and it is very hard to break that chain. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed my reasoning and hopefully you resonated with some of the ideas that I put forth in this video. If you did, go ahead and smash the like button. It really helps a ton with the algorithm. I'd really appreciate it. It takes quite some time for myself and my editor to put together this video. So I'd really appreciate it. And it tells us that we should create more. Uh, also leave down below in the comments any questions you may have on this video and I'll be sure to check those out. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, there's so much content coming out on entrepreneurship on personal development, just like this one, for example, uh, and lifestyle, uh, on social media marketing agency, and we're talking sales, we're talking hours, we're talking getting results for your clients. So if you don't wanna miss any of that, go ahead and check out the link in the description. And the final thing is, if you haven't checked out the free private mentorship community, the Client Closers, it's an incredible community full of like-minded people looking to scale their agency and level up in life. I'm going live on there uh, for free trainings. I'm going live on there for interviews. It's honestly incredible. And just the insane value that people are getting from it. It's out of this world. So go ahead and check out the link in bio, apply it. And if you're a good fit, we'll let you in. And uh, as always, guys, hope everything's going well in your agency journey. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.